Hey everybody, welcome to the Soap Thing Project, or if you've been here before, welcome back. I want to thank everybody for joining me today. So for this shave, we're going to get some Creed Aventus action going on. That's going to be the focus of today's shave. So what is Creed Aventus? Well, it's a niche fragrance, a very expensive one, made by the House of Creed since 2010. And this fragrance, as well as the dozens of shaving soaps that are inspired by it, it's the same formula over and over and over again. It's a fruity, woody, smoky sort of thing. So Creed Aventus, for better or for worse, is the most hyped and popular scent in recent history. You can also be assured that it's the most copied and recreated scent in the world. When this scent was released in 2010, it just exploded in popularity and it hasn't changed much in the 12 years that it's been out. Okay, let's talk about the hardware and software we're gonna use on this shave today. The soap is going to be from CBL Soaps, and it's their Orion base. And this scent is called Pinnacle, which is a Creed Aventus inspired scent. And let's talk about this soap for a minute, because there's quite a few things to say about it. Some good and some bad. First of all, it's got this brass-like ribbon all around the side of the container. Would you look at that? It's not brass, otherwise it would start to patina, and this one has not. But it's really classy looking, I think. Next thing about it is the lid does not screw down, which is really interesting. So here's the soap inside of it. We'll talk about the soap more in a minute. But if you take the top and put it on the container, I don't know if you can hear this, it actually vacuum seals into place. So it's airtight instead of screwing down. So right out of the gate, you can tell this had some serious thought put into it. You've got a rubber airtight seal, you've got a black glass container, and you've got this brass-like ribbon all around the soap. Let's talk about the ingredients. We've got aloe vera, coconut butter, alipi butter, marumaru butter, and jojoba wax are some of the higher quality ingredients that I'm seeing in this. Now the price on this, that's where things start to get nasty. This is $37 for four ounces of soap, so excruciatingly expensive. The CBL Orion soap base was supposed to have been CBL's attempt at making the slickest, highest quality soap humanly possible. Did they achieve that? Well, I guess we'll find out, won't we? I know what the answer is. I've used this before. But let's find out. Now, the scent description on the side of the tub is a little vague, so let's just talk about the scent breakdown of Creed Aventus itself. So Creed Aventus has pineapple, bergamot, blackcurrant, birch, and musk as some of the high-profile notes that you'll find in that particular fragrance. Let's smell it. So there's some good things to say and there's some bad things to say about the scent. So the good news is this scent is one of the most well-balanced interpretations of Creed Aventus I've ever seen. And believe me, I've smelled a lot of them. The problem is the scent strength is an abysmal one out of five. It really is quite a shame. I wish I didn't have to say that, but I'm telling it like it is. But we're going to use it anyway because the scent, while really low in scent strength, is a very, very good scent. So we're going to use it for the shave today. CBL Orion Pinnacle. The aftershave is going to be Ariana and Evans Spartacus. And this is A&E's own interpretation of Creed Aventus, another great one in my personal opinion. The razor is going to be the Blackland Saber, level two. And this has been sitting around for a while in my shaved end. I haven't used it a lot lately because it's kind of a, kind of a hit and miss kind of shave. Sometimes I get good shaves with it and sometimes I don't. It takes gem PTFE blades, which look exactly like this. So that'll be the razor. Moving on to the brush, this one comes from Eric Sorrentino, and this is a really beautiful metallic red on black resin, 22 millimeters with a maggard two-band badger sitting on it. And the coin comes from Murphy and McNeil. I don't know if you can see that, but the story behind this coin is you buy it from them, and then you get early access to all the new releases over at Murphy and McNeil for about $12.95, I think is what the coin costs. Definitely a good price. Good bargain, in my personal opinion. And then we're going to chase the shave with some Mont Blanc Explorer. And this has a very strong resemblance to Creed Aventus without the Creed Aventus price. This one's got bergamot, pink pepper, leather, and broxen, and Akigala wood. 
And man, is this really close to Creed Aventus. So close, it's kind of scary. Let's do a shave. Okay, today on the face we have somewhere in the neighborhood of two days growth. And before we get this shave started, just a quick public service announcement about the Blackland Saber. As you can see, the head on this has a very flat stem. So that you can fit the Gem PTFE blade over top of it. But what this does is it actually makes it really easy to cross thread this or strip the threads. So do make sure that you are being careful when you screw the handle down on this, otherwise you could do some fairly serious damage to the to the stem on this razor. Okay, what do we want to use for a pre-shave? Why don't we use some ProRazo White. Green tea and oat pre-shave. Hope everybody's doing well. Having the greatest shaves humanly possible and staying out of trouble. That's the last thing we need is people running around making trouble. Okay, here we have the CBL Orion Pinnacle lathered into the Langley City Shave Bowl. And as you can see, it's not the most high structure stuff in the world, but it is really 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 slick it's amazingly slick it rivals in my opinion the murphy and mcneil kodiak base which i've been on the record before saying that i think that is the slickest and highest performing soap base there is so this gets about the closest to that that you're ever going to get so it's a very close second place to Murphy and McNeil Kodiak. And the sense strength, just to make sure, yep, it's about a one out of five. It really does suck because the scent on this is probably the best interpretation of Creed Aventus I've ever seen without actually being there. 
Okay, this razor is a roll of the dice whether or not I'm going to get a good shave, so let's see what happens. Blackland Saber with a fresh gem PTFE blade in it. And you really got to have a steep angle of this. You almost have to completely ride the top cap. The Ever Ready 1912 that I use is about the same way. Most gem PTFE blades are like that. So you definitely got to go slow and take your time. Be really careful and controlled. I generally won't use this with 24 hours growth because I'm more prone to irritation when I do that. So let's talk about Creed Aventus for a minute. So. What most Creed Aventus dupes will tend to do to mess up the Creed Aventus scent is they will either A, be far too fruity, too heavy on the pineapple notes, or they won't successfully nail that, uh, that really distinctive smoky note that you get with real Creed Aventus. And usually they, they do both. They can't, they do both A, they, they can't manage to get the fruity notes under control, and B, they can't nail that smokiness. Uh, most Creed Aventus dupes don't have that smoke note hardly at all. In this case, with the CBL Orion Pinnacle, uh, it just doesn't nail that smoke note very well but it has very balanced uh, citrus notes. It's actually quite impressive. And I have smelled Creed Aventus before. I've gotten several decants of it just to get familiar with it. And you know, Creed Aventus is actually I could actually just kind of take it or leave it. It's a good scent. It's a decent scent, but in my personal opinion, uh, I think Creed Silver Mountain Water is actually a much more creative and impressive scent than Creed Aventus is. Creed Aventus is a, is a crowd pleaser. I mean, that's that's without a doubt. It was designed to be that way. But I never got super attracted to it for some reason. I think it's decent. It's a good, in my opinion, dumb reach scent. But if I'm looking for something unique, especially in a niche fragrance, then I'm going to go for probably Creed Silver Mountain Water. And the difference between a, a niche fragrance and a designer fragrance is a designer fragrance is like your, your Christian Dior, uh, where they make handbags and purses. In the case of Tom Ford, they make suits and ties and shoes and all sorts of stuff, and they make fragrances. Whereas a niche fragrance house is just making fragrances. And generally, the quality is significantly higher. A lot of times, uh, designer fragrances will smell synthetic, not that that's a bad thing. There's a lot of designer fragrances that I really love. But niche fragrance houses will tend to use much higher quality ingredients. And already I got a couple nicks, one right here and one right there. You, if you're gonna use the Blackland Saber, you really gotta go slow and be very careful. Because instead of a, uh, a double-edged blade, which will kind of bow and buckle and bend as it goes over imperfections in your skin, usually a double-edged blade will glance over little bumps and things like that. A gem PTFE blade especially, and sometimes even an artist club blade, 
we'll just hack things clean off because it's a much thicker and more rigid blade. But so far I'm doing better than I usually do with this. Usually it's a little bit of a shred fest. Primary and residual slickness on the soap is really, really incredible. Very impressive. Okay, let's try around the chin. Here we go. With regular uh, double-edge razors, you can usually get away with with uh, just the slightest amount of pressure. But with this, if you apply hardly any pressure, you're going to pay for it. It is going to make you pay for it. Let's do a rinse and see how we did. There was a nick right here that might be content to just stop on its own. This one, there's a little one right there. Let's just go straight to the alum block. Let's just do that. Let's dip it in some water. Put some water on the face. So far, so good. Ooh, yeah. Down on the neck was where I paid for it. All across the neck. It looks like there's a tiny little one right there. But these should stop in a couple minutes, so it's not like it's a disaster where I'm afraid to show my face at work. Okay, let's move on to the aftershave. Okay, time for some Ariana and Evans Spartacus. Let's put it on. And the rev limiter on this is a little overzealous, so you really have to bob it up and down to get a good amount of aftershave onto your hands, but at least it's not going to spill all over for those of you who are worried about that. And the scent on this is, well, let's just say it has both of the problems that I mentioned earlier. It's a little too heavy on the uh, on the sweet pineapple notes, and it also doesn't have much of that Creed Aventus smoky birch tar sort of thing that you find in the real in the real fragrance but having said that most of the creed aventus inspired scents that you find in shaving soaps and aftershaves are getting you close enough i mean let's be real how close do you really want to get okay time for some mont blanc explorer let's put some on and this stuff i've heard people say that it just dissipates off their skin. I get some pretty beast mode performance out of it. I get every bit of eight to nine hours out of it and moderate projection. No problem at all. So I don't know what all the fuss is about, but this is definitely a low price alternative to Creed Aventus if you're trying to get in that sort of ballpark. It's definitely going to drop you off in the same neighborhood as Creed Aventus. No problem at all. Okay, my final thoughts on CBL Orion Pinnacle. If I exhausted this to an empty tub, would I buy it again? No. Absolutely not. And here's why. It's pretty simple, really. The scent is far too weak, and the price is far too high. I'm sorry, but there are other soap makers out there that are cooking with gas for a lot less money. In fact, I think this soap really is a missed opportunity, because the, the soap quality is fantastic and the scent character 
has to be the best interpretation of Creed Aventus I've ever smelled. It just sucks that the scent strength is so low and it's really, really expensive. It's quite a shame. I wish I didn't have to say that, but that's how I feel about it. That'll be the shave for today. I want to thank everybody for watching. And until next time, this is Soap Thing telling you, shave like you mean it. Thanks for watching.